just thought I'd put this out there because um, I was overhearing or eavesdropping into a conversation a little bit earlier today. Um, and it was these two guys. And this one guy was kind of sobbing into the other guy's arms. And I kind of worked out that they were school, school friends from years ago. And basically, one of the guys had a heart attack. He kept saying about being 44, so I know he was 44. Um, and he'd had a heart attack, and he was talking about what had happened in hospital and all of this. And then they basically both stood there and reeled off all the people that they know who have either died or have been sick. And everything they said was either heart-related, blood clots, or a stroke. It was like, one would say, oh, yeah, well, my dad had a heart attack last year. And then my auntie, she um, had a really bad stroke and died and then the other one said yeah my sis my dad's sister did this and, and it literally went on and I was sort of listening thinking friggin' hell because that's the first time I've actually sort of like heard anyone you know from somebody's mouth you know it's all hearsay you know I know lots of people have been dying but in effect it's been hearsay because it's just stories or whatever you know um anyway then they were carried on talking and it turns out that one of them worked for the national grid the one who hadn't had a a um, heart attack. So I was just like, oh, can I pick your brains about something? So we obviously know that these guys are in the matrix because they didn't mention anything about it could be vaccine related or anything like that. So we know they're, they're straight guys. So I just said, um, oh, so um, do you know whether the government, um, you know, pay any um, subsidies or anything for, and he's like, oh God, we're completely government funded. Everything's government funded. And I said, oh, and do you supply the electricity to our houses then? Yeah. Yeah, we do it via the government. We basically go up to the box outside your house and then from the house in and your meter or whatever is all done by the SSE or whatever. I said, so basically the electricity is paid for by the government up into our door. And he went, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, no, definitely it is. So I said, oh, I read this leaflet and it says it costs like nine pound a month or something for our energy. And he said, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's all it costs. So I said, so what's going on with the brokers then? He said, I've never really thought about it. He said, but yeah, you're right. They're just making money for meter servicing because they're not supplying you with the energy. So then I said, okay, can you just clear something else? Can you, as the national grid, switch us off at all? And he said, no, only if there was a presumed um, gas explosion or something. And it would be done immediately there and then. And, you know, they'd, they'd corner off and get you out of your house and do all that anyway. It will be like... A, a serious sort of you know dilemma he said that no they're not allowed and it's contracted in that they're not allowed to cut people off he said they cannot just come and dig up roads if they have to dig up roads for whatever reasons it's, it's all got to go to the council first to get like um authority and all that sort of stuff they can't just come in and do it he said the only way your electric can be cut off is if sse or whatever could do it remotely he said with the new meters he said or if your meters are outside they can do something, clip it or something, he said, but um, the national grid would never, they, they, they have no authority to do it because basically they've got a, an agreement with the government which states they can't and that the government totally funds them. So we pay for our, so I said to him, so we pay for our gas and electricity um, through the government via the national grid and he said, yeah, basically. I could see him, his cogs going a bit funny. But anyway, I just thought I'd put that out there.